Thrasher certainly not alone with those feelings of Bowden's impact. Flowers now adorn the Bobby Bowden statue at Doak Campbell Stadium. ABC 27's Jada Williams joins us live there right now. Jada, what have fans been telling you? Channing, I have seen people of all ages, all walks of life coming out here to pay their respect for Coach Bobby Bowden. Now, many of them saying that Florida State University wouldn't be the school that it is right now and Tallahassee wouldn't be the community that it is without Bowden's presence. Reflecting on former Florida State football coach Bobby Bowden, FSU sophomore Justin Poole, one of many making the trip to this statue for a final goodbye. I decided to pay my respects really because, I mean, he's someone who has really contributed a lot to this university, not just in terms of football, but just as a man who really gave his all to this place. Flowers, teddy bears, and cards now perched at the foot of his likeness at Doak Campbell Stadium. Uh, I've been a Florida State fan for 25 years, and Bobby Bowden was my first exposure to college football. Russell Bruce says he felt it important to show his eight-year-old son the power Bowden had on this community while also teaching him more about the Tallahassee legacy. Without Bobby Bowden, there would be no Florida State football, and he needs to understand history. History is what makes us who we are. A history that will bring people to the house that Bobby built for years to come. So Jada, how else are people paying their respects tonight? Well, if you want to pay those respects, you should be here. There are people who are donating or they are posting online their memories. But of course, this memorial is where it's at. Now, if you want to go to the family's home, there is a small memorial, but there are signs saying respect their privacy. So again, if you want to drop off the teddy bears, the flowers and things of that nature, you want to do it right here at Doak Campbell Stadium. Reporting live, Jada Williams, ABC 27.